Hi guys, it's Miss Shopslot, and sorry I'm late on my video this week. It's been a long week. It is my birthday month, and my birthday is tomorrow, so we've been doing a lot of celebrating, a lot of fun stuff. So I do have a thrift haul. I have a garage sale haul that I need to uh, edit, so that will be within the next couple of days up. So in the meantime, I have a small thrift haul and lots of goodies, so I will just jump right in. Uh, let's do random stuff. Oh, these weren't part of that. That wasn't even. Okay, so I picked this up uh, for my daughter. It is a My Lip Tint Pack. I believe they sell this on, like, Wish and stuff like that. It was $1.98. And what it is is, like, it's a lip stain. These are all the colors. And they are brand new. All steel sealed. So you put this on your lips and then you pull it off and it uh, stains your lips whatever color that is. <laughs> so she likes to try new lipsticks and different makeup products so I figured it would be a cool thing to get for her to try and it was only $1.98. Oh here, see this is how you do it. You put it on, you let it sit, and then you pull it off and it stains your lips. It's not in English at all, but that's the gist of it. <laughs> so I picked that up for her, which I will be sending to her. She just got her new apartment. Yay! So I'm going to send her that. Uh, sh 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 next thing. Okay, so these are, this stuff is just totally random. And you guys said you wanted to see everything I get. So here, here it is. Now this is something that I would sell. And this, I don't know really what it is. I looked it up. I paid $2 for the entire set. And it is Escaping Escape the Coming Night, Dr. David Jeremiah. And this is four CD packs. Let me open it so you can get a better idea. Four CD packs. I'm not, Again, I don't know anything really about it other than I looked up how much these sell. And they sell for a fairly de decent price. A panorama of prophecy selected scriptures. So some sort of religious whatnot. So I got, there's four of these. Volume one, vol volume two, three, and four. And then also the corresponding books to this. Again, I really don't know anything about this. But other than the fact that it sells for a decent price... Uh, so I picked these up to resell. So my first tip for you guys, and I did say I will be doing some short videos on how to list what to look for, how to look things up, stuff of that nature. Uh, so my first tip is if you see something like sets of stuff, like CDs, books, look them up. See how much they sell for and go from there. Because a lot of times, books and CDs can go for quite a bit more than you would expect. So, anything you have a feeling on, always check. When I first started doing this, I didn't have a smartphone. Um, I did it all by computer. And majority of the finds I did on either what very little knowledge I did have or by feelings. Like, I feel like this is good. And sometimes my feelings paid off. And sometimes my feelings didn't. So the times that it didn't, I consider those money that I put in to my education. So people are always like, oh, well, you know, you should tell this person how to do it, tell that person how to do it. So I didn't, somebody didn't teach me what I know or how I, I taught myself, one. And two, I paid my tuition for resale college by paying for mistakes. So with my videos, I like to help you with some of my mistakes that I've made. I still make mistakes. I'm not always as on point as I thought I was, but also markets change. So a Michael Kors bag, just because that's my specialty, but it could be anything, Fenton glass, um, whatever. It could be booming today and tomorrow it's not worth anything. So you got to catch it when the market is good. And if you let it sit, and I've had this be happen before, where I found a vintage item, I don't really recollect what it was, 
but it sold in the hundreds of dollars when I bought it. I let it sit for too long because I have a lot of stuff to sell and I put other things before certain things like purses and that I sell first. My vintage items and antique items I kind of wait on and I learned very quickly that that is not good to do because it went from selling for hundreds of dollars to $25. So it is a market. You do have to keep an eye on the market. It is not always a cut and dry situation. Also, the opposite has happened where I have had something sit for a little while that I didn't get listed right away, say maybe a month or two, sometimes longer. And when I did, it was worth more. So, I mean, it can go both ways, but you can lose on an investment. But be that being said, I only made $25 on the item that I could have got hundreds of dollars for if I would have listed it right away. But I still made a profit because I only paid a dollar. So, I mean, but I have lost money. So don't, don't think I haven't. I have bought things, you know, five, three, four. It adds up. And if they're not worth anything, you sell them at your garage sale, you still sometimes take a loss. So definitely look up whatever it is you're looking to sell. Even designer bags, because that's where I tend to focus a lot of my videos on. A lot of times, some of them don't sell that high anymore. I try to stay away from signature bags if they are not worth anything. You see me at garage sales and I pass by a lot of bags. People are like, oh, why didn't you pick that up? Or why didn't you pick that up? Because it's really not worth my time. And you'll see when you start to get into selling, if that is what you want to do, you will see that happen. Okay, enough blathering and into my haul again. <laughs> uh, the next item I bought was this lot of wristbands and Fitbit. It was $2.99. Fitbit still sell. I could probably get $15, $20 for this. Uh, it's not a huge margin, but those little... Those little sales add up too. So I I try, 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 try not to do anything for $15, $20. I try to keep my margin, not my margin, but my sale price 50 and above because that's just worth what's worth my time. Some people have different strategies. That's just mine. I do, however, from time to time sell some smaller items, either A, because they have lost value, B, because I picked them up thinking they were worth more, but they really weren't. And yeah, that's usually it. <laughs> I do not buy things to only sell for $10, $20. Unless it's something that's going to sell immediately, then yes. But if it's something that's going to sit for a week or more, then no. Um, but I will still list it because why waste the money and have it go for nothing? Uh, so, I mean, everybody has a different strategy. I tend to not deal with things less than a $25 or $30 profit. Okay, back into my haul again. <laughs> I will waver and, you know, some people like it, some people don't. You always have that option to skip forward. So if you want to hear my advice, then stick around. All right, my next item is just for me, is brand new, is from Spencer's. It doesn't have anything. Uh, I paid, I don't remember how much I paid, I think it was a dollar. Oh, two fifty. And this is for me to drink out of tomorrow on my birthday. Yay, tomorrow's my birthday. So that's why this is late going up today. And it is a brand new cup. And it says, oh, hold on. Let me get you through the full effect. It says, drink up, bitches. I think it's pretty. I think it's so pretty. Uh, and a shot glass. I will not be doing any shots, but it came with this. And handmade, hand wash only. Because it's got like this material but anyways they're both brand new and yeah I'm going to have some drinks tomorrow for my b-day uh let's see next is this callus razor for beginners just shave it it was 350 it was probably less than that on wish or something along those lines but I actually really needed it so I picked it up I see people using uh cheese graters oh my god no that is crazy insane I would never don't do that <laughs> don't do that anyways next is this bottle of Tria hair removal laser gel it is for a very 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 expensive 
hair remover laser that I bought in another video. Uh, this was 99 cents. I do use it for myself or will. haven't used it yet. Uh, the next item is Bath and Body Works. Let me see what scent this is. Sensual Amber. And it was $1.98, almost full. And as I said before, a lot of these Bath and Body Works scents sell well. Some do, some don't. Again, you have to research. Okay, this is a giant bag of Lancome. Um, I love Lancome mascara, and this is my actual favorite Lancome. Um, open bags will not be sold. Here's the problem with this. So this wasn't opened when I bought it. Um, I did take one of these out to use. Here's the problem with this, right? So open bags will not be sold. Anybody that opens these bags usually wants to steal something out of these, right? So they steal it. They don't care if it gets sold or not. I feel like the, it's kind of backwards with that. Like the person that stole out of it or took it out to put in another bag. I get that too. You know, then I understand why they say open bags will not be sold. But if somebody's just stealing something out of it, they're really the ones taking the loss of not selling the bag afterwards because they stole what they wanted. I don't know. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? Anyways, it was $3.39 and I got a ton of the Lancome. I think it's Defensios. I love this mascara though. Either way. So I have a ton of these. Uh, this is a... I don't know what this one is. Lancome Sills Booster XL. Oh, a base? We'll give it a try. I'm not going to pull every one out because they are all the same. Then there is a bunch of these bifacial uh, eye makeup remover. And oddly, a bunch of spools of thread. Uh, there is a bifacial face wash. This is Lancome Monsignor Big. And then this is a eyeshadow palette. I love the colors. So pretty. So I got all of that for $3.39. Uh, this is a clear sill perfect wash. Uh, perfect dose for visibly clear skin without over drying rapid face wash so it's just a face wash that you can put your hand under and it pumps out the face wash I bought this for my daughter for her bathroom and this was five dollars brand new and I, I believe it comes with three oh yeah three months supply so three uh three refills um oh here's my other body thing. This was $3.98. This is Philosophy Snow Angel and it is the body wash, shower gel, body lotion, body spray, and body polishing scrub. Philosophy is another brand that sometimes their products can resell pretty high after they are no longer available. But I picked this up for, it would make a really nice Christmas gift. So that goes in my Christmas gift closet, which I start in like January of every year. <laughs> and there's gifts in there for every occasion. This next, I'm a little disappointed. I'm going to see if I can fix it. It was $6 for the set. It is a Kate Spade makeup case. It is the big case and then the small case. But it has this yellowing going on and I don't know if that is something I can fix or not I don't think it is so I would just have to deal with it um I don't know maybe I'll see if my daughter wants it I don't know but it's all different lipstick colors I guess or shades of red and pink so six dollars is not a bad price I just like I said it has some yellowing. It's not really on that one too much, but on this you can see that. But like I said, 
they can't all be winners. <laughs> Sometimes I have flops too. But yeah, it goes in there like that. But I, I mean, really, your makeup case gets so dirty easily, so whatever. Now, if you can see in the back, my pretty girls back here, I picked these two up. I don't know if I'm going to keep them in the frame or use reuse the frames. They were $3 each. I love these frames. Um, so again, I don't know if I'm going to reuse the frames or use the girls that are in the frames. I'm not sure. I kind of thought of doing a picture of me in one and a picture of my daughter in the other, but we'll see. Uh, for $3, though, the vase, the they were worth it to me. The next item is this Luminous. I purchased one before that was brand new, and I sold it for, I believe it was $75. This one was $20, but it did come with makeup. It came with the makeup that it was with. So I still think I could get a decent price for these. These are the makeups, and then there's this Luminous Cosmetics pack. Ooh, something's leaking. I have to fix that. So I think it's like a base of primer. I don't know. But I will clean this up, and... I might actually even give this one to my daughter, but I don't know. It was $20. I had a $5 off coupon, so it was $15. I don't know if that was a great deal. I'm having, I'm having a bad day this time. <laughs> Not a bad day. It's just, you know, it's getting harder and harder to find things out there because of, so one, there's a lot of people that do it. Two, the the uh, thrift stores are raising their prices. So again, I have gone online thrifting and I seem to do somewhat better. I do not spend as much money in my Goodwill as I used to. I mean, I would spend easily, easily a few hundred a month, at least, at least, sometimes more. Um, and right now, I would say I spend $60 a month. If that, if that, if that. I used to spend quite a bit of money, but they have raised their prices so much that it's it's easier to compete in other areas for better prices. So that's that. Uh, next item is this Coach scarf. Again, this was an online purchase. I purchased this brand new with tags at on eBay, and I paid $15 for it. I think it is so pretty. I cannot wait to wear this on a cooler summer night now that it is cooler here. Um, or even when fall comes with a cute little jean jacket. So I picked that up for $15 on eBay. Uh, these are some dress... Okay. <laughs> so far I have... Definite one that I'm not sure of. Two. This is two. I bought this dress. I thought it was super cute. I tried it on. It looks horrendous. I hate it. It's by Curvy Girl from Ashley Stewart. It was $10 with half off, so it was $5.50. And it is this, like, gold lame colored dress with a belt. And it just looks awful. <laughs> so I will be sending that to consignment. And I'm sure I'll get my $5.50 back. If not, I'll throw it up on Poshmark um, and Mercari and see what happens. These next pants were $10 with half off, so these were $5.50. And I am obsessed with these pants. I have not worn them yet. Um, they are brand new with tags. And they are these nice linen wide leg, super wide leg pants. I love linen pants. I don't know about these white ones because certain white ones, certain white pants just show too much of the goods or bads. So I have to try these on. Um, but if not, I'm going to dye them black because I have a black pair. And every time I wear my black pair of linen pants, I get compliments. So I will just dye them black. <laughs> or another color, maybe navy blue. Yeah. Yeah. I just dyed a pair of pants that I got the other day. They were green. And they just did not look right, so I just dyed them black. It was pretty easy. 
Okay, this next item was $4.99. I it was half off, so it was $2.50. And it is this one shoulder shirt that I thought was really cute. I picked that up. And last but not least, on the clothes, I picked up these Robin's jeans. They were $6.98. And I, I sold a hat, a Robin's hat. Was it Robin's jeans hat? I bought it at Savers. I think I paid $10 and I sold it for $125. So I picked up these jeans. Uh, if they don't sell, I wasn't super worried about it because they are my um, daughter's boyfriend size. So I don't know if he would wear these blingy pants, but I'm not worried about taking a loss on these. I know I will make a decent profit on those so robin's jeans is always a good thing to look out for but as true religion was faked so are they so you have to be careful uh next i picked up these for earmuffs they were a dollar there by adrian what's her name landau she makes some beautiful it's leather and fur she makes some beautiful beautiful jackets and a lot of them are faux fur, so for those who don't like the real fur, she does make a lot of faux fur, and they are beautiful. I sold one. They, I got two of them. There were three X's. They were gorgeous, but they were just too small for me. I mean, too big for me. And I wound up selling them for like $100 a piece. Okay. Next is this straw Michael Kors bag with the orange. I love that. I think that's so pretty. And this bag was, oh, here's the back with studs. This bag is like brand new and it was $9.98. So I picked that up. I have some exciting news coming up. I do not have a date yet, so I am not going to spoil it until I have a definite date. And then when I do, you guys will be the first to know. It will be a event happening in st pete beach so if you are in that area and want to come i will let you know the details uh this next item i paid a little bit for i paid uh, i paid twenty dollars but it's in very good condition i got this at salvation army it is a michael kors hamilton traveler bag um it does need a little bit of cleaning to get these little scuffs out but other than that, overall, it's in really good condition. The only other issue it had, this is inside as clean as this, whatever this is. And there's some makeup in this pocket. Those are easy. This one, I don't know. I feel like it's going to come out easy, but other than that, it's in really good condition. I'm just going to take some black leather dye and go over this and clean it up some. It'll look great. So that was 20 And last but not least, my daughter has already pre-claimed this. This is another one that I paid a little bit for. But my daughter loves this style, so I don't mind spending it for her. And this was $15. It is a Michael Kors bag. However, it is brand new. $14.99. It is brand new. It still has, or did have, like, the plastic on the zippers and stuff. Um, it did, does have a little bit of, like, it needs to be wiped here. Probably just from being donated and who knows what they threw it in with. But otherwise, it's in excellent, excellent condition. It has the short strap and the longer strap. And again, that one is already claimed, pre-claimed by my daughter. <laughs> and I think it had a 20% off. I think I had 20% off that day too. So, all right, that's my haul. A lot of rambling. I hope you guys are still with me. I appreciate you all so much. And I hope you like my video. If you do, like the video, comment on the video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.